So if you're interested in learning a program, one thing that I think is a great tool is called JavaScript koans. So a koan is a paradoxical antidote or riddle used in Zen Buddhism to demonstrate the inadequacy of logical reasoning and provoke enlightenment. So that sounds like a whole lot, but there is actually, in JavaScript, there's a open source project um, created by Mr. David Lang and um, we can I'm just going to operate we're going to learn JavaScript just by going through this project so the first thing that I'm going to do is I've got a terminal window open and I'm going to copy this project down so one thing with coding you can grab this there's two different ways that you can get this you could download it as a zip folder and it would show up on your desktop um, and most people are familiar with how that works as you can see um, it's downloads and it would show up here as a zip file and then we could just duplicate it. But there's another way I want to do this as well. So I'm going to copy this URL here and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go get clone. Oh, well, first off, I want to change directories and I'm, I can do PWD to see what directory I am in. And if um, I'm not in the desktop I want to be, I can be change directory and then forward slash and capital desktop. And I hit tab to automatically go there. So then um, you can list out the folders there. So we can see that JavaScript's koans has been listed on a zip file here. If you're just interested in getting started on the project with MacBook, Mac computers, you can just double click that and it'll unzip it for you. And so then we could start with the project that way. But the other way, so if I were to list out here, you see I've got the JavaScript koans master here. But I'm gonna show you another way to do that. It's just a little bit faster and it's the programmer way of doing it. So you go over here and you just copy this URL and then you can use git, which is a tool in your command line, and you can say git clone, and then print this there. And that is going to um, get, it, the koans folder is actually going to show up, and it's going to be um, cleaner, like, if you do it that way. Cool. So, once we get this downloaded, once we get this downloaded, we will be good to go. So now, if I ls, you can see the JavaScript koans is there, and I can change directory into JavaScript koans, cd, and now if we list it out here, you'll see we have the HTML file, and uh, the readme and some other stuff. So this is how you get this project started. What you want to do is in your folder, you'll see the koans runner, and you want to drag that to whichever search engine or whichever web browser you're using. And that's how you can open that. And so here we are with JavaScript koans. And so um, let's see. So this is how they, they teach you this. It should, ex it should expect true. It is damaging your karma. Okay, so what does that mean? Please meditate on the following code. Here we have error. Expected false to be truthy. Jasmine. Okay. And it shows the list of the path to which it got there. And then it shows about accepts. Um, cool. So if we can see, we want to find the file about accepts. And we want to have online uh, either 7 or 19. And so what I'm going to do is open this in a... Um, in a text editor. I use a text editor called Atom. There's Visual Studio Code, which is really nice. Um, but I like Atom personally, um, especially for the simplicity of this project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say open-a, and I'm going to choose Atom. And I'm in the Atom, I want to open the, um, the project. So I'm just going to press a period, and that will open up a window with the project on it. And so I'm just going to pull this over to here. And we see about accepts here. So I'm just going to close these other files because this is the only one I'm working on. And so about accepts on JS7, line 7. So here it is. So describe about accepts. It should accept true. So it says accept false to be truthy. Well, we don't want it to be truthy. We don't want false to be truthy. We expect true to be truthy. Cool. So now if I save that and I click back over in the... Um, developer the window and I refresh the page you'll see we're passing our first test so there's one of 53 um, so cool let's move on to the next one it should expect equality so expected value is equal to fill me in so we want to add whatever that is and then actual value is one plus one um, and oh, just another thing is I'm checking that where the error comes from and it's on line 15 of this file so it's this is the the 15 this is the line that we want to solve so fill me in. Actual value triple equals expected value. Well, the expected value should be 2, and the actual value should be 2. So expecting, this is a function which calls, and they call the to be truthy method on it. And so that will make it so that that one passes. So again, I want to press Command S to save this file, and then refresh this window, and you see I've got two um, tests passing now. 
Cool. So let's look at the next one. Line 24 is where we're having our problem. So here you can see it's 24 is the test that's failing. And so should assert equality a better way? Hmm. Okay. So expected value is equal to fill me in. The actual value is equal to one plus one. So that's two. So we want to have these two is equal to two. Expected, the actual value is two, two equal. So what's really this one about? This one's really about showing you that you could say, except, expect this to be truthy, or you could just have um, expect to equal. So that, what is that that's doing? This is checking for truthy rather than this is checking for equality. So equal compares using common sense equality. Cool. Two equal. So that just makes it, I think it's just a way of sh showing you that you can be accurate. Um, you can show that things are equal in different ways in JavaScript. Cool. So sometimes you need to be precise about uh, you type. Uh, so expected value should be that. Well, expected value is equal to two, but the actual value is equal to one plus one, two string. Okay, cool. So let's open up. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right click inspect and then go to a console um, so yeah the one cool thing about the console is it can um, it can render JavaScript so if we have if we set our expected value to be equal to that then if we um, expected value and this is called a REPL is gonna render out to two and so we can do expected value plus three and that would render that would um, return five as a value so this is how programming works and what we've done here is we've initiated a variable so the actual value to be equal to a string so let's just actually run that out um, if we go one plus one dot two string then we get a string of two but two, but two is not equal to uh, the uh, just in the regular two, right? One, two, three. Okay, so there's actually a lot of interest here. So this is uh, whether these are tr exactly the same or not. Now two is triple equals to two. That's not right because this two is an integer and this is a, uh, the number two and it's a data point. So that is not right. But and I can come down here and press up to do my last one. If we do double equals, it will turn out to be true. So this is called string. Um, this is just a string. I think it's interpolation, but it basically is something to keep in mind. So you could get a true value from here, but you could get a false value if you do it like that. Now, which one will this guy do, right? Expected uh, to be always use triple equals to compare. So this is going to be false, I'm guessing. Let's refresh this page over here and see where we're at. So we're on line 24, which is failing. So actual value to, to equal compares using here. Oh, I need to save the file. You just see the blue dot up here. So I press command S to save and refresh here. Expect two to be equal to two. Okay, cool. So two string. So what, what, what do we need to do here? In order to get this to pass, we need to put this uh, we need to make it a string. So if you even if you, if you have two, um, it it uh, the, if you do double equals and then a string of two, it renders out to be true. But then if you do triple equals, it's false. And so that's the um, exact type matching. And JavaScript has a chance of making a mistake there. So now now that I've changed this to a string instead of the integer of two, and I saved this file, I should be able to refresh here, and we'll see that the next problem is on line 38. And so line 38. So here we're just showing another way. Expect one plus one to equal two. And so it says fill me in here. We fill it in here and we press command S and that should be good with about accepts. So if I refresh the page over here, you'll see that that one has expanded and the new error is down here, but it's in another file called about arrays. And so we've completed with the first uh, set of five koans and we've covered the first of nine sections. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next video.